It's time now for high school softball from your hometown radio station, FM 95.3 WKLM. It is now time for high school softball as West Holmes plays host to Minerva. Good morning from West Holmes. West Holmes, a record of 9-3 and three on the season, playing host of Minerva with a record of 6-6. Six and six. Stay tuned for the pregame show on WKLM. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A single-family home located at 9650 Golf Course Road, northwest in Sugar Creek, is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $975,000. This property was built in 2021 and has three bedrooms and two full baths with 2,208 square feet, located in the Garraway Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Tim Miller at 330-674-7355 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit KimeHome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. Grilling season is here. And if your burgers look more like hockey pucks than the juicy grilled to perfection ones, it's time to get some extra sizzle with a new Weber grill from Millersburg Electric. See the full Weber line, including the new rust-resistant griddle featuring edge-to-edge heat and digital temperature display. Plus, get free assembly on all Weber grills. Also get season opener pricing on window air conditioners and dehumidifiers. All at Millersburg Electric. Appliances and much more on State Route 83 South in Millersburg or 24-7 at MillersburgElectric.com. Getting the kids to practice on time. Remembering if it's your day to bring snacks. Making it to the game with a clean jersey. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things. Like whether your kid is going to run toward first or third base. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester or online at HummelGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at YoderFamilyRoofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330 695 3000 
Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. Looking to upgrade the exterior of your home? Siding is indeed the best bang for your dollar. Hi, I'm Nevin Mass with Home Siding Contractors. We have the best siding on the market today, and the low-maintenance aspect of our siding is what our customers enjoy the most. Provia Siding fits that bill exactly. No frequent painting or staining with wood siding. No routine sealing like stucco. Provia Siding lasts. Check out all we have to offer at our new and improved showroom east of Millersburg, and let our experienced sales team show you how affordable our products can be. It's time now for Inside the Dugout, brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. When it comes to service, nobody cares more than Village Motors in Millersburg. This is Deke Miller, and I'm proud to say that we have state-of-the-art equipment and factory-trained technicians working on your vehicle when you visit. And we also offer a variety of preventative maintenance programs designed to greatly reduce the cost of your service visits. We are competitive, convenient, and we care. So the next time you need your vehicle service, stop by and see us at Village Motors in Millersburg. Alongside Westfall's head softball coach Steve Frank coming off a bounce back win last night on the road over Philo by the score of 5 2 and able to come up with some late offense to get that win last night, Steve. Yeah, that was a good one. We'd come back from the loss on Thursday night. We went down to Philo last night and had a little bit of a slow start getting off the bus, but girls came alive and were able to deliver the runs late in the game, and that, that was a nice night last night. You know, to get that done, Briar Klein doing a solid job on the mound. Briar Klein did an excellent job. She was solid the whole way through. And she knew how she shut them down when they, they started some rallies, and she just came through for us last night. It was a really strong effort. Yeah, we talked about this, uh, Steve. Kind of look at this this past week. We know the season has been a terrific season for this West Olds team, but having the walk off win against New Philadelphia, even the close loss the other night against them, coming back with a close win, cover behind win last night. These are games these girls need to, to be in, right? Yeah, we need to play these games, and these girls are, are have learned how to win. They've learned that we're not going to give up. We've had several come from behind wins, and and that's a good mentality for them to have, especially heading into the tournament run here in a couple weeks. And and we re, it's really fun to watch them play. We know that we're never out of a game because of that attitude. All right, playing host to Minerva, who's had a pretty solid spring for them so far. Know what you about this Minerva team you're taking on? They're usually pretty solid. We've had we've played them on Saturdays for the last few years, and it's it's always a good a good game. And so we're we're ready to take take on Saturday here. Steve, you like uh, playing on these Saturdays here, especially the sun's out here. Nice, nice play on the Saturday morning affair. Yeah, the sun, the sun's out. That's all we matter anymore. <laughs> um, it's good to play. The girls, the girls are ready. The girls are excited, and you know they're 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 getting loose right now, and we'll be ready to go. Other than that, Steve, what's the biggest focus for today's game? Biggest focus today is take care of the little things. That's what helped us last night. We had a nice pickoff last night. We had a great relay from right field to third base, and those defensive plays are what makes it. And that's what we're going to try to focus on here is keep this hitting solid and take care of the little things on defense. Steve, thanks for your time. Good luck today. Okay, thank you. That's the voice of West Holmes head softball coach, Steve Frank. Inside the dugout has been brought to you by Village Motors of Millersburg. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEV Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MEB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MEB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mebsystems.com. Savor the spring savings all this week at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have Springer Mountain Farm, split chicken breast, $1.98 a pound. Twin pack whole pork shoulder butts, $1.78 a pound. USDA choice boneless bottom round roast, $4.98 a pound. We also have USDA choice boneless bottom round steak, $5.18 a pound. Bicolor sweet corn, two for 88 cents. Sweet cantaloupes, two for $5. Hot house grown beef steak tomatoes, $1.48 a pound. Plus download your digital coupon for crazy low price on select items Thursday 
Monday through Sunday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobron's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pull that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right, Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. At 14 and 10 overall, 8 and 6 in the OCEC, while Minerva last year went 7 and 16. And on the season for them last year, of course, in last season's matchup at Minerva, West Holmes won that game by the score of 10 to nothing. And the Trevor Trail from a season ago in Division Two, West Holmes is the 14th seed, fell to the 6th seed West Muskingum in their first sectional tournament game, 8 to 6. While Minerva was the 15th in that same district, the 15th seed, they fell to the 9th seed Philo in their first sectional tournament game by the score of 13 to 3 from a season ago. For West Holmes, off to a terrific start this season with the record of 9-3 on the year. And there are only three losses coming in a 9-6 loss at Madison. A 10-8 loss also to West Muskingum. And, of course, a loss back on a Thursday, 9-8 to New Philadelphia. Had that bounce back win last night and that win 5-2, as we talked with Steve Frank about, to get that win last night. West Holmes, again, that record of 9-3 on the year. They're also 3-2 in the OCC. For Minerva, their record is 6-6 six and six on the season. Wins over Garraway as well as Crestwood. David Anderson, TCC, two wins over TCC this year, and also a victory over Alliance. Losses to Dover, Salem, also to West Branch as well as Marlington, and also losses in their last two games to Carrollton on the road, 11-7, and lost 6-4 to four on their home field to West Branch back on Thursday. So Minerva, that record of 6-6 six and six on the season for them. I mentioned the OCC and high school softball so far, Lexington unbeaten the conference at 5-0. and Mount Vernon also 3-0 and in OCC play. New Philadelphia 4-2. and West Holmes 3-2. and Madison 2-3 and in the OCC. Ashland 1-5. and Worcester 0-6 oh so far in conference action. Other games around the area today in high school baseball. Loudonville is at West Holmes later on this afternoon. In boys varsity tennis, West Holmes is at Dover City Park. We'll take a break. Come back with more on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. 
spring planning is just around the corner. Are your farm tires ready? Millersburg Tire Service has all the brands of farm tires to keep you running. Like Alliance, BKT, Seat, Galaxy, Firestone, Michelin, Petlus, and Titan. Right now you can spring into savings with a Firestone rebate of up to $300 off per tire for radial farm tires. Now through May 31st. They have the biggest and best farm tire selection in the area. Why not buy from the experts at Millersburg Tire Service on State Route 39 East of Millersburg and tell the salesman that Brad sent you when you come in for special pricing. Celebrating 71 years in the tire business. This is Emily Sheely of Berga Insurance. Farm ownership is a huge investment. Protect your investment with the right insurance policy. I proudly represent Buckeye Insurance Group, a company that has been insuring farms since 1879. Together, we can make sure you have coverage that meets your needs. Buckeye Insurance Group and Berga Insurance working together to protect you. It's time for DNM Rock's annual spring open house. Friday, May 3rd from 7 to 6, and Saturday, May 4th from 7.30 to 2. They have mulch, gravel, and limestone. Boulders, sand stones, and wall stones. Patio pavers, fire pits, and natural stone. Topsoil, shale-based materials, and culvert and PVC pipe. They also have new black decorative stones. When you spend $50 or more, you'll be entered to win a $200 DNM Rocks gift card. We hope to see you at DNM Rocks Spring Open House. May 3rd and 4th. Stop in to see us, or if you can, give us a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. MRV Siding Supply is introducing another line of stone called Casa di Sassi, where old world charm meets modern luxury. Whether you're looking to enhance your outdoor space or add a touch of sophistication to your interior design, their wide range of products will meet your every need. Choose from a variety of styles and colors to create the perfect ambiance for your space. Casa di Sassi, where timeless beauty meets exceptional quality. Discover the possibilities at MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Millersburg or on the web at mrvsiding.com. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative, celebrating the generous member owners of Holmes Wayne Electric who have donated to the Operation Roundup Foundation. Since 2006, over $950,000 has been distributed back into the local community for those in need. And starting today for the visiting Minerva Lady Lions, leading things off will be sophomore shortstop Rachel Weaver. Batting second is freshman pitcher Delaney Sell. Batting third is the junior third baseman Sierra Cress. And at the end of spot for the Lady Lions, that's freshman second baseman in Gabby Cass. Ashton. Batting fifth is senior first baseman Abby Eide. Batting sixth is the junior catcher. That's Dakota Breton. Batting seventh, that's freshman center fielder Adrian Cashton. And batting eighth, that is freshman left fielder in Natalie Essek. Batting ninth is the senior designated player Bree Lively. And starting out in right field is the sophomore Jordan Burgides. Minerva a record of 6-6 six and six on the season, trying to snap a two-game losing streak, and they're coached by Tim Speakman. For the home team, the West Old Lady Knights starting off 
And leading off for them will be sophomore second baseman Zelina Proper. Batting second for the Lady Knights, that's sophomore third baseman Briar Klein. Batting third is the senior shortstop, that's Kinsey Woods. In the fourth spot in the order, the cleanup spot is senior second baseman Keegan Ohl. Batting fifth is senior pitcher and Addison Yoder. Betting six, that's senior center fielder Peyton Carruthers. In the seventh slot, that's senior first baseman Emery Lemon. Well, batting eighth is freshman designated player in Landry Krosky. Starting in left field also is freshman in Peyton Hudson. Betting ninth for West Holmes, that's senior right fielder Callie Woods. West Holmes, a record of 9-3. and three. They won three of their last four contests, and they're coached by Steve Frank. And the starting lineups brought to you by Holmes Wayne Electric Cooperative. They are proud members of our community and supporters of our youth and future leaders. Holmes Wayne Electric distributes $20,200 in scholarships annually to 10 local high school seniors. Additionally, they recognize local 6th to 8th graders, power students, when parent or guardians submit their grade cards as well. Stay tuned. We have more to come on the pregame show after this on WKLM. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. Buckeye Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include Auto Tech, Nail Tech, Phlebotomy, STNA, Firefighter, and Welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register. Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs REAM equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local REAM Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Danko Marketing of Millersburg reminds you that a properly working and maintained garage door is critical to safety. Door springs, bottom brackets, cables, and supports are under extreme tension and can cause serious injury if dealt with them properly. That's why your local garage door dealer is the one to trust. His professional expertise keeps your garage door working as it should and puts the job in the right hands. A safety and service tip from Denko Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. A single-family home located at 4938 South Drive in Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions with an asking price of $249,500. This property was built in 1945 and has three bedrooms and one full bath with 1,623 square feet located in the East Holmes Local School District. For more information or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Junior Miller at 330-852-4111 or check it out at KaufmanRealty.com. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit KimeHome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. 
Millersburg Electric has been serving the area since 1945. With quality seals and service, a home appliances. With over 250 products on display and thousands more to choose from, they are the area appliance headquarters. Spring home improvement is upon us, so consider a replacement of those older and efficient kitchen appliances and laundry products. Building or remodeling, they offer package discounts and free storage until your project is complete. In addition, get free in carton drop-off or professional installation of your appliances. Visit Millersburg Electric on State Route 83 South or 24-7 at millersburgelectric.com. And once again, today's National Anthem being brought to you by the Holmes County Veteran Services in Millersburg. Stay tuned. The opening pitch coming up very shortly on WKLM. Untangling your headphones, finding the right remote, saying goodbye to your favorite shirt that hasn't fit in 10 years. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. Auto owners works with independent agents who live in your community and answer when you call. So you can worry about more important things like finding a new favorite shirt. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester or online at HummelGRP.com. Hi, I'm Eugene with Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at YoderFamilyRoofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. With today's market instability, many homeowners are looking to upgrade their existing home rather than buy or build a new one. At Home Siding Contractors, we know choosing the many colors and styles of siding, replacement windows and doors can be overwhelming. At Home Siding Contractors, we can help make that decision easier. Durability, beauty, and low maintenance over time describes our products the best. Call Home Siding Contractors today at 888-725-6619 and let our professional staff help upgrade your home today. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. Being video live streamed on the WKLM YouTube page this morning. That is courtesy of the Claxon communication team of Casey Claxon, who is producing today's live stream coverage. Also working the cameras is Aiden Garbrandt and Andrew Dunlap. Go to the WKLM YouTube page. You can find the live stream coverage for today's contest. We're also on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. Blazedon Mullins is back at WKLM Sports Central. Of course, coming up on Monday, we'll have uh, baseball coming away. That'll be video live stream with Highland and Garraway. We'll also have uh, 
all coming up on the radio on Monday. Softball with uh, Highland and Garraway as well. Tuesday, high school baseball from Canal Park and Al uh, in Akron. Highlands at, uh, will take on Lake Center Christian. And also Wednesday, we'll have high school baseball again. Garraway at Highland. That'll be video live streamed on YouTube. And also on baseball on Wednesday on R- the radio has Ashland and West Holmes. And next Friday, we'll have high school softball. It'll be West Holmes taking on Worcester. And also high school baseball Tri-Valley is at Highland coming up next Friday as well. We'll take a break Come up for the opening pitch after this on WKLM. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEV Systems in Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333 and visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Savor the spring savings all this week at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have 75% fresh ground beef, two ninety eight a pound. Bone-in pork shoulder steak, one ninety eight a pound. USDA choice beef boneless New York strip steaks, nine ninety eight a pound. We also have sixteen ounce cod fillet, seven nineteen. Sixteen ounce Argentine shrimp for eight ninety eight, and Gerber's chicken thighs or drumsticks for dollar sixty nine a pound. Plus, download your digital coupon for crazy low price on select items Thursday through Sunday at Rody's IGA Marketplace in Millersburg. At Pomerine Hospital, they understand that access to quality health care is essential for rural and small town residents. Each day, their specialists provide nationally recognized care at facilities across Holmes, Ashland, and Tuscarawas counties. Whether you're growing a family or making the most of your golden years, you can trust them for reliable patient outcomes at every stage of life. From outpatient services to advanced treatments, learn how they're setting a new standard for community-based health care. And remember that no matter where life takes you, Pomerine is just around the corner. Find a location at Pomerine Hospital hospital.org. Fikert Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fiker Concrete. Loading the kids in the car, brokering peace in the back seat, mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent, Hovren's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pull that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right. Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Time is ticking and your dream home is waiting. This is Ben Hershberger at the Commercial and Savings Bank. We understand that buying a home can be overwhelming, but with CSB, it's easier than ever. We offer a range of options. Whether you're looking to buy, build, refinance, or improve your home, our mortgage lenders will guide you every step of the way. Visit our website at csb1.com to apply online today and turn your dream into a reality. The Commercial and Savings Bank, where homeownership begins. Member FDIC equal housing lender. 
And just about ready to get things underway here from uh, high school softball. And, of course, the West Hills High School Softball Complex. McRoy alongside with you. And, again, Blaze DeMullins back at WKLM Sports Central. Glad to have you with us on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. As I mentioned before, we are video live streaming this contest on the WKLM YouTube page as well, courtesy of the Claxon Communication Team. And thank you very much. All right. Thanks, Jim. And then also as we get things started here, it'll be West Holes that mentioned the home team. And they'll be at the plate first. And leading things off for the Lady Knights will be Zelina Proper, followed by Briar Klein, Kenzie Woods, Keegan Ohl, Addison Yoder, Peyton Carruthers, Emery Lemon, Landry Krosky, and then Callie Woods rounds out the West Holmes lineup. In the field for Minerva at first base, Abby Ibe. The second baseman, Gabby Cashton. At short is Rachel Weaver. At third, Sierra Cress. In left field, Natalie Essek. In center, that's Adriana Cashton. In right field is Jordan Burgides. In catching for Minerva, that is Dakota Breton. On the mound in pitching is the freshman right-hander, and that is Delaney Sell as well uh, for Minerva. For West Holmes defensively, of course, they'll be in the field first. Uh, at first base, Emery Lemon. At second is Keegan Ohl. At short is Kenzie Woods. At third, Briar Klein. In left field, Peyton Hudson. In center, Peyton Carruthers. In right field, Callie Woods. Catching Zelina Proper on the mound and pitching for them is senior right-hander Addison Yoder. Leading things off for Minerva, that is Rachel Weaver. Followed by Delaney Sell, Sierra Cress, Gabby Cashton, Abby Eyed, Dakota Breton, Adriana Cashin, Natalie Essick, and Bree Lively rounds out this Minerva Lady Lions lineup. At the plate, Rachel Weaver leads things off for Minerva. And here's the pitch. Going to be a bit outside for a ball. First pitch brought to you by Finish Line Auto Body in Millersburg. Remember, if you get into a collision, make your first call to Finish Line Auto Body, where they have experts in collision repair. And they'll even help with up to $500 of your insurance deductible. And here's the second offering. It's going to be a grounder down the third base side, but it goes foul. Evens the count up at one ball and one strike. Give Brooks a call, 674-1483. That's Finish Line Auto Body. Rachel Weaver at the plate, batting from the right side, wearing number eight, the sophomore shortstop. And the 1-1 offering. That's high for a ball, two. Two balls and one strike. Weaver batting 333, has four runs batted in. Minerva, red jerseys and white numerals, white sleeves and also gray pants and red socks. The 2-1 pitch. That's going to be just a bit inside for a ball. Goes to three balls and a strike to Rachel Weaver. West Holmes with their blue jerseys, red sleeves and red numerals and white pants in blue socks. And the 3-1 pitch. That's going to be in there for a cold strike. Now full of 3-2. Bright and sunny. Fairly clear skies. Windy as usual, West Holmes. We expect that blowing out toward left right now. But other than that, a beautiful day for high school softball. Here's the payoff. Going to be in the dirt. That's going to be ball four. So Weaver will draw the leadoff walk. She'll be at first with nobody out at the plate for Minerva. Delaney Sell, who bats from the left side, wearing number 12, the freshman pitcher. Sell batting 227. She has two runs batted in. Underway here in the top of the first. New score, runner first base, nobody out for Minerva. Addison Yoder on the mound, the pitch. She so bunt, she'll bunt it down the third baseline, glove, throw to first base, in time for the out by Briar Klein. Good job charging after the ball down the third baseline. She made the play on the put out. Klein, of course, she got the win on the mound for West Holmes last night at Philo, playing at third base today. But the sack bunt successful as it will advance the runner over to second base in Rachel Weaver. One out runner at second, newest score. Here's Sierra Cress. Bats from the right side of the plate, wearing number 13, the junior third baseman, batting 348, five home runs, and 10 runs batted in. That pitch will be a fastball in the outside corner. It's a cold strike. Addison Yoder, again, the senior right hander for West Holmes in the mound. 7 2 record for her on the season, throwing 15 to third innings on the season this spring, allowing 42 runs, 25 earned. Here's the 0 1. That's just a bit high for a ball. 1-1 one, one count. Yoder allowing 59 hits, striking out 44 batters. Walking 16 on the season with that walk in this inning. Hitting one and a 3.48 ERA. The 1-1. One, one. It's going to be a bounce of tour short. It'll be gloved by Woods. Throws the first in time for the outs. Right at Kenzie Woods and a sharply hit round ball by Crest, but Woods fielded it cleanly. Made the nice throw. There's now two down, and it also keeps Weaver 
Hoover at second base. Next up from Nerva, second base number 17, Gabriella. Gabriella Cashton. Gabby Cashton now at the plate. Bats from the left side. We're in number 17, the freshman second baseman. Batting 185. She has one run batted in. Yoder steers in. Now the pitch. That'll be a bouncer back to the mound. It'll be gloved by Yoder. Bobbles it and not able to make a throw on it. And everybody's going to be safe as Weaver advances to third base on that play. And Cashton will advance over to first base. Now batting first baseman number 14, Abby Ide. So that will extend the inning. And at the plate going to be Gabby, and now I should see Abby Ide will stand in. Here's the pitch. She shows that. Now pulls it back and be a strike. Runner going. Throw to home plate. Going to be a close play. In time for the out, I believe. Did she hold on? Yes, she did. And Selena Proper. As the collision at the plate from Weaver to Yoder will slow to get up, but she held on to it. Give her credit. Holding in tough, and she able to get that out to close out the inning. So that'll do it for the top of the first for Minerva as they get uh, no run scored, one hit, and also a runner left. And through half any no score from West Holmes. This is High School Softball on WKLM. When you work the land, you know out there in some far corner of a field there's an old steel fence post that has your number and that's when you should have ours we're your certified firestone farm tire dealer and when you need service give us a call we're specially trained and equipped to handle all your on-farm in-field tire repair and replacement needs call millersburg tire service state route 39 millersburg for your farm tire needs this is Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. I have partnered with Buckeye Insurance Group to provide our customers with insurance coverage at competitive rates, backed by outstanding service. If you would like a no-obligation review of your farm, home, or auto insurance, see me, Jeff Allison at Burgett Insurance. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. Time for the NM Rock Annual Spring Open House. Friday, May 3rd from 7 to 6, and Saturday, May 4th from 7.30 to 2. They have mulch, gravel, and limestone. Boulders, sand stones, and wall stones. Patio pavers, fire pits, and natural stone. Topsoil, shale-based materials, and culvert and PVC pipe. They also have new black decorative stones. When you spend $50 or more, you'll be entered to win a $200 DNM Rocks gift card. We hope to see you at DNM Rocks Spring Open House. May 3rd and 4th. Stop in to see us, or if you can, give us a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. Home half of the first inning, no score from West Holmes at the plate for the Lady Knights will be Selena Proper to lead things off. The player who made that big out there at home plate, and they will hold on to it on the collision there as the catcher. Now she'll lead things off at the plate as well. Batting from the left side, wearing number zero, the sophomore catcher for West Holmes. Batting 475, she has nine runs batted in. New score, bottom of the first. A little delay here to get things started. And she steps out. Now she'll step back into the batter's box. Now we're ready. Here's the pitch. That'll be a cold strike on the outside corner. Righty against lefty. Again, Proper batting from the left side. She's followed by Briar Klein, Kenzie Woods, Keegan Ohl, Addison Yoder, Peyton Carruthers, and Emery Lemon. Also, Landry Krosky and Callie Woods rounds out the West Holmes lineup. The 0-1. It's going to be a line toward short caught by the shortstop, Rachel Weaver. Right at her, hit hard by Proper, but Weaver will make that grab. There's no one away. Briar Klein now at the plate. She'll bat from the right side, wearing number three, the sophomore third baseman. Klein batting 244, has one home run, and nine runs batted in. New score We're in the bottom half of the first high school softball action from West Holmes. Here's the pitch. In the dirt for a ball, 1-0 count. For Minerva at first base, Abby Eyde. The second baseman, Gabby Cashton. At short is Rachel Weaver. At third is Sierra Cress. In left field, Natalie Essick. In center, Adriana Cashton. In right field also is Jordan Burgides. Catching is Dakota Breton. The pitch. That's going to be a bit outside for ball two. 2-0 count. Catching is the freshman right-hander, Delaney Sell. 2-0 count. One out, nobody aboard. Bottom half of the first from West Holmes. 
the pitch. It's going to be a line toward left center, going to be in there for a base hit. Rounds first base, Klein looking for second, and she'll be there that found the gap and got through the outfielders, Essek and Cashton in left center. And Klein with the one-out double. Klein, her fifth double of the season. Kenzie Woods now at the plate. Woods batting from the right side, wearing number 12, the senior shortstop. She's batting 634, has three homers in 19, runs batted in. So West Holmes has something brewing in the bottom half of the first in the scoreless affair right now. Sell now the pitch. That's a bunt, butts it down the third base side. It'll be gloved by Crest. Throws the first, going to be in time for the out. Close play, but it is an out just in time. The sack bunt, those advanced climb, though, over the third base. Keegan Ole out the plate. Bats for the right side, wearing number 24, the senior second baseman. Batting 619, two home runs, and 24 runs batted in. Two outs, runner at third, and New score so far, West Holmes trying to change that. Sell, now the pitch. That's a cold strike on the inside corner. Sell, 0-1 record. Two and two-thirds innings pitched this season, allowing seven runs, three earned, three hits, striking out three, walking five, a 7.87 ERA. And the pitch. So I'm going to be foul, tipped to the backstop, and goes to new balls and two strikes to Keegan Ohl. Played nice and opportunity early to try and take this lead in the bottom of the first inning. Minerva had their chance in the upper half of the first. Night able to score on a great defensive play by West Holmes. We'll see what West Holmes can do offensively here. Sell. So, now with a pitch. It's going to be a bouncer toward second. Going to be knocked down by Cash and throws the first. Going to be a close play in time for the out. Good job by Cash as she knocked it down. He may make a throw from really from the ground to get to the first base and the flip just in time to get Ull to finish out the inning. So West Holmes, no runs, one hit, and no errors, and a runner left. And through one, we are scoreless. This is High School Sapo on WKLM. If you're looking for siding with more of an old-school appeal, reminiscent of traditional sod and split cedar shakes and shingles that have been featured in American home building since the 1600s, then check out the authentic look of Provia Harborville shake and shingle siding and MRV siding supply. Modeled after a hand-picked cedar pieces using highly accurate laser scanning to ensure even the finest details were carried over into each Harbor Mill shake and shingle. That's MRV Siding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg. We're on the web at MRVSiding.com. Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. And top of the second, newest score, already an 0-1 count. Here's the second offering, swung on and missed for strike two. So a foul ball and a swing and miss, 0-2 count to Abby Ide, who was at the plate to finish out that first. That's when uh, West Holmes had the throw to home plate and the out on Rachel Weaver to close out the inning. So Ide will lead things off in the second in a scoreless game, the pitch. That's going to be just outside for a ball. It's a 1-2 count to Abby Ide, followed by Dakota Breton and Adriana Cashton. That's the 5-6 in seven batters. Ide bats from the right side, wearing number 14, the senior first baseman. And the 1-2 pitch. Check swing and a high pitch. He held it just enough to make it ball two, makes it a 2-2 pitch. Ide batting 0-87, has five runs batted in for Abby Ide. 
two for 23 at the plate for her so far this spring. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss. She went back inside on her and got the swing and miss for strike three, and that's the first out of the inning. And the first strikeout thrown by Addison Yoder of the game. It's already a better start in the second for West Holmes than it was the first inning. Here's Dakota Breton, who bats at the plate, and she's batting from the left side, wearing number four, the junior catcher, batting 136 on the season. Yoder stares in the pitch. And be down low and away for a ball. Makes it a 1-0 count to Breton. McRoy alongside with you. And again, uh, Blaze and Mullins back at WKLM Sports Central. Glad to have you with us on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. We're video live streaming today's contest on the WKLM YouTube page. The pitch. That's high for a ball. Makes it a 2-0 count. Courtesy of the Claxon communication team. Casey Claxon producing today's live stream coverage. Eden Garbrandt and... Andrew Dunlap working the cameras for your covers today. Go to YouTube, search WKLM Radio to find the live stream coverage for today's game. The pitch. Come on, man. Beyonce toward short. Love by Woods. Fires the first in time for the out. A little slow roller of the short. Woods did a good job kind of charging after that ball. And made the throw. There's now two down. Two up and two down in the second. For Minerva, Adriana Cashton. She's at the plate. That's from the right side wearing number 10. The freshman center fielder batting 158 and has two runs batted in on the season. Yoder down the pitch. Outside for a ball. Makes it a 1-0 count to Cashton. Kaim Home Center is your home building and woodworking destination, including lumber, building materials, and custom millwork. The 1-0 pitch. It's going to be a line to left field. That's going to be a base hit. Two out single to left by Adriana Cashton will keep the inning going. First hit today that play in the first was ruled an error, so first official hit today for Minerva. And now Natalie Essek, number eight batter in the lineup, will be at the plate. That's for the left side. We're in number seven, the freshman left fielder, batting 167. She does have one home run and one RBI. And the pitch shows butt. Pulls it back inside for on the outside corner for a strike. Throw to the second base, not in time to get Adriana Cashin, who slides in safely to get the stolen base. 0-1 count to Essek, but now a runner in a scoring position for Minerva. Visit Kaim Home Center in Charm, Ohio, or on the web at kaimhome.com. Runner at second, two down for Minerva. No score, top of the second. Yoder now the pitch. Shows Bunt, she'll butt up in the air down the third base line. Diving grab attempt by Briar Klein. Nice effort, unable to come up with it. Makes it an 0-2 count now to Essek. Good job charging after it. He had to dive for it in the foul territory to have a chance. But now no balls, two strikes to Essek. Likely swinging away here. Now the pitch. Chops foul down the third base side. And the count remains at 0-2. Are they going to call that an out? I didn't, it didn't look like a bunt to me, but kind of a slap swing, but they're going to call that a bunt attempt on a foul ball, so it's immediately strike three if that's the case. That's what uh, head coach Tim Speakman is arguing there, that it wasn't an abundant attempt. Uh, but that's what they're going to rule it, and that'll do it here for the inning. So for Minerva, they get no runs, one hit, no errors, or runner left. And through one and a half, we are scoreless. This is High School Softball on WKLM. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at waynedoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973.
Buckeye Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include auto tech, nail tech, phlebotomy, STNA, firefighter, and welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register. Stoles, the five, six, and seven batters. Yoder is followed by Peyton Carruthers and Emery Lemon. Yoder bats for the right side, wearing number four, the senior pitcher. The pitch will be a bouncer down the third base side that goes foul. 1-1 one, one count to Yoder. Batting 400, she has 17 runs batted in. After today's contest, I'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player receives one small pizza and one small three, courtesy of Charm Pizza on State Route 557 in charm. One ball, one strike. Sale now is ready. Here's the pitch. In the dirt for a ball. Two balls, one strike to Addison Yoder. Scoreless team so far. Both teams getting some runners on base. Both teams making some nice defensive plays. And that has been where we're at at this point. Now the pitch. In the dirt for a ball. Three balls and a strike. Steve Frank talking about last night's game at Philo. The Lady Knights had plenty of situations with the girls on base early in the game. Not able to knock him home, but able to get those key hits to knock him home late in the game to get that win. The pitch. High and away for a ball. That will be ball four. That will walk Addison Yoder. So she'll take her base. First walk thrown by the Lady Cell of the game. At the plate, going to be Peyton Carruthers. It'll be a pinch runner. It'll be Jocelyn Lucas, the senior, will be pinch running for the pitcher, Addison Yoder. So Lucas, the pinch runner here in the second for Yoder. Crother stands in. Bats from the right side, wearing number 10, senior center fielder, batting 4-10, one homer, and 10 runs batted in. Runner on, nobody out for West Holmes in the bottom of the second. Time is called. Crothers, of course, the hero back on, I believe it was Wednesday, with the walk-off homer, three-run homer, her first career home run. A pitch in there for a strike. Runner going to the second base, going to be not in time. Good heads up base running by Lucas. She'll get there. Over to second base. 0-1 count to Carruthers. Of course, that same night, West Holmes baseball team got a walk-off win over New Philadelphia, so both softball and baseball with walk-off wins over New Philly back on Wednesday. Of course, New Philly got the better end of the two sides on that next day on Thursday on their home field. The pitch. High pitch. She showed much. She pulled it back just in time for ball one. 1-1 one, one count to Carruthers. Runner in the scoring position for West Holmes, but nobody out in the second. An opportunity again to try and take this lead. So, now with the pitch. In the dirt, good scoop by the catcher, Dakota Breton. He goes to two balls and a strike. Two Carruthers. So, just a freshman on the mound, of course, for West Holmes. Addison Yoder on the mound pitching. She's a senior. Now the pitch. High and away. That's going to be ball three. And the count very much in Carruthers' favor at this point. Windy day. Again, you kind of expect that over here, but it is a fairly clear skies and sunny, and we'll take that. Sell so now the pitch. That'll be a cold strike on the outside corner. Three balls, two strikes. West Holmes, that record of nine and three coming in. Minerva, record of six and six. So, now the payoff. Going to be popped up. Tore short underneath and making the catch. That'll be shortstop Rachel Weaver, and there's one away. And now at the plate, Emery Lemon. Lemon. Now batting first base. 
Batting from the right side, we're in number 15, the senior first baseman, Lemon, batting 333. She does have two home runs and 14 runs batted in. Lady well, Knights looking for that key hit with Lucas over at second. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss. Ostby pitch. He was out in front of it. It goes to strike one. Win picking up once again. As Lemon steps back into the batter's box. Sell. Now the pitch. Way outside for a ball. Runner going through the third base in the dirt and scooped up cleanly by Crest, but not before Lucas goes sliding into the third base bag for the stolen base. So that's why she's out there showing that speed on the base pass. Jocelyn Lucas, and she's all the way over to third base with one out. One ball, one strike to Lemon. Time is called. Playing just ahead of the third base bag is Sierra Crest. Ahead of the first base bag is Abby Eyde. Middle infield also is up. So everybody up there, the pitch. It's going to be a fly ball toward right center. It's going to be a base hit. Rolls to the fence. Scoring for third base is Lucas. Lemon over to second base. She'll get the one out. RBI double to right center field. Emery Lemon comes through with her 15th RBI of the season. And West Holmes takes the one nothing lead. So Lemon coming through. one nothing West Holmes. Here's Landry Krosky. Krosky batting for the right side. We're in number seven. The freshman designated player. She has five runs batted in. Up, 0 for 5. 0 for 5 on the spring for her. Sal now the pitch. In the dirt. Nice stop by catcher Dakota Britton. Goes to 1 0 count to Krosky. Lemon, her third double of the season as well. She's at second, one out, and a one nothing West Holmes lead in the second inning. Sell, now the pitch. That's high. Goes the ball to 2 0 count to Krosky. Lady Knights getting some production in the lower half of their lineup in the second inning. Sell takes her time in between pitches. Now steps onto the rubber. And. Here is the pitch. That's going to be just a bit low for a ball. Good eye by Krosky. And now a 3-0 count to her. Sell's kind of gotten behind in the count to about every batter she's faced in the second. And West Holmes so far has been able to take advantage of that. Krosky steps back in. Sell now the pitch. High inside. I was going to call on a strike on the inside corner. Excuse me, three balls and a strike to Krosky. Sell. Now with the pitch. It's going to be a bouncer towards second. It'll be gloved by Cash that throws the first in time for the out. And that'll be the second out. Advancing from second to third on the ground out was Emery Lemmer. Callie Woods at the plate. In the nine slot, batting from the left side, wearing number two, the senior right fielder. Woods batting 345. She has four runs batted in. Still an opportunity to add another run if you're West Holmes here. Up one nothing right now. Sell. Now the pitch. Outside for a ball. Makes it a 1-0 count. one nothing West Holmes, bottom of the second. And now the second offering. It's going to be a bouncer near the mound, gloved by Self. Those the first base going to be in time for the out, and that will do it here for the inning. West Holmes does get a run, though, as they get one run on one hit. No errors or runner left, and through two. West Holmes one, Minerva nothing. This is high school softball on WKLM.
Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs Rheem equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local Rheem Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located, home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. Have you experienced the difference of hometown independent pharmacy lately? If not, now is the perfect time to start. Premier Pharmacy inside Rhodes IGA is now open and accepting new patients. This is Joel Gauss from Premier Pharmacies in Berlin and Millersburg inviting you to come experience the Premier Pharmacy difference. We want to be your teammate as you navigate the complex world of healthcare, offering you consistent, fast service and always being available to answer whatever questions you may have. Call us or stop in today. We will transfer all your active prescriptions from your current pharmacy so you don't have to worry about a thing. That's why we are Premier Pharmacy, your hometown independent pharmacy. Top of the third, one nothing West Stalls. First pitch swinging Bree Lively in the ninth slot. Bounces the third, and good play by Briar Klein. The glove it through the first base and throw her out. There's now one away already on one pitch here in the third. The pitch going to be just a bit high for ball one as we go back to the top of the order for Minerva. Second time through the order facing Addison Yoder. And for the Lady Lions, Rachel Weaver, who walked in her first at bat, she stands in right now. one nothing West, almost top of the third, the pitch. That's a bit outside for a ball, makes it a 2-0 count. Delaney Sell is on deck. One out, nobody aboard, top of the third, one nothing Lady Knights. Through two, Minerva, no runs, one hit. They've left two runners on base. Yoder down the pitch. That's in there for a cold strike, makes it 2-1. and one. Yoder has struck out one, she's walked one. 26 pitches thrown through two. That lone run, of course, scored on the bottom half of the second. And the pitch. It's going to be a slap foul down the third base side. Swung at the inside pitch. Evens it up. Two balls, two strikes to Weaver. Matt Croy alongside with you, with you for high school softball from West Holmes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Hospi pitch and got her. That'll be held on to by Zelina Proper. There's now two away. Second strikeout through to the game by Addison Yoder. Two outs, nobody aboard for Minerva. Here's Delaney Sell, who had a sacrifice bunt to her credit in that first inning. Sell stands in. Now with the pitch. But, uh, swings it up in the air. Going to be uh, a foul ball. And she popped it up down the third base side. Bounced just to the left of that third base bag. And goes to 0-1. Kind of a check swing. Got a piece of it. And again, popped it up. But just ahead of everybody to get that foul ball. 0-1 the count now to Delaney Sell. Yoder now with the pitch. Want to be a bounce with the mill glove off the bounce by Yoder. Throws the first in time for the out, and that will do it for the inning. So Minerva, for the first time, will go down in order and through two and a half. West Stoles one, Minerva nothing. This is high school softball on WKLM. A condominium located at 2779 Coven Walnut Creek is listed for sale by Kaufman Realty and Auctions for lease with an asking price of $2,000. This property was built in 2016 and is a two-bedroom and two-bath condo at the Coven Walnut Creek. That includes a master suite with a walk-in closet and tilted shower, fully equipped kitchen, first floor laundry, and the sunroom leading out to a new concrete patio with 1,648 square feet. Located in the East Stoles Local School District. For more information, or to choose a date and time to see this property, contact Kate Overton at 330-602-4111 or check it out at KauffmanRealty.com. Join us at Kime Home Center in Charm for Customer Appreciation Days, April 15th through 20th. We're celebrating our customers all week long with giveaways, gift card drawings, woodworking demonstrations, refreshments, and special savings. 
Save 12% on appliances, lawn and garden, tools, decking and railing, and so much more. Plus, don't miss the free pancake and sausage breakfast Thursday through Saturday morning. Visit KeimHome.com or follow us on Facebook for more details. And we'll see you April 15th through 20th for Customer Appreciation Days. Grilling season is here, and if your burgers look more like hockey pucks than the juicy grilled to perfection ones, it's time to get some extra sizzle with a new Weber grill from Millersburg Electric. See the full Weber line, including the new rust-resistant griddle featuring edge-to-edge heat and digital temperature display. Plus, get free assembly on all Weber grills. Also, get season opener pricing on window air conditioners and dehumidifiers. All at Millersburg Electric. Appliances and much more on State Route 83 South in Millersburg or 24-7 at Millersburg Electric. Electric.com. By Zelina Proper, 0 1 count to her as West Hole's back to the top of the order. Proper followed by Briar Klein and Kenzie Woods. Proper lined out to shorten her first at bat. Hit it hard, but right at the shortstop. The pitch going to be outside for a ball. It was, of course, caught by Rachel Weaver. 1 1 count to Proper right now. 1 0 West Hole's trying to add on to that. Been a good game so far into the home half of the third inning. Delaney Sell remains on the mound for the Lady Lions. And the freshman, the pitch. A called strike on the outside corner. Goes to one and two. West holds one run on two hits. They've left two runners on base. Sell has walked one. No strikeouts thrown. Throwing 30 pitches through two. Sell again. Taking her time in between. Now she'll step on. She's ready now. And the pitch. Outside. That's going to be a ball. Evens it up. Two balls and two strikes. Two Zolina Proper. one nothing, Lady Knights. West Holmes able to get the leadoff batter aboard that last inning. Of course, that was Addison Yoder via the walk, the pitch. Well, the bats with the middle. Nice stab by a sell at the mound. She throws the first in time for the out. That was hit sharply again by Proper on the ground. And Sell had to make a quick stab with her glove to grab that off the ground to make that play. So Proper, a bit unlucky today. A hard hit line drive the short. That one a sharp hit all up the middle. But again, give credit to Sell to make that play. There's now one out. Here's Briar Klein, who doubled in the first. But as I mentioned, Yoder let off of the walk the last inning. Lucas came in, of course, to pinch run for her, eventually scored that run. But that's the only time out of the first three innings they've gotten the leadoff batter aboard so far. That pitch will make a line towards second to be off the outskirts glove of diving second baseman Gabby Cashton. And at first base, safely, Briar Klein. Good attempt by Cashton, unable to come up with that ball. And that will be an infield single for Briar Klein. So her second hit today. Playing shortstop, number 12, Kenzie Woods. Kenzie Woods stands in. Woods, a sacrifice bunt in the first. Came in batting 634 on the season with three homers and 19 RBIs. Runner at first, one out. one nothing West Holmes, home half of the third inning. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game, the pitch. In the dirt, knocked down by Sell. Runner going, and she will not be able to make a throw in it. As Klein was going anyway, so she'll get the easy stolen base. 1-0 count to Woods. That player receives one small pizza, one small flurry from Charm Pizza on State Route 557 in Charm. Runner at second, one down. Sell. Now with the 1-0. Columbia grounder towards short in the left field, a base hit. Klein over to third base, she'll hold right there. Good job by Essek to get to that ball. Now, she does not get the ball in the infield quickly enough, and that allows Woods to get over to second base. I think you'd have to call that a, a double because it wasn't on the throw that she advanced there. She just kind of held on to it. So that will be good heads-up base running by Woods, and she will get a double out of that. Runners at second and third. Keegan Oles at the plate. She grounded out the second in her first at bat. Second and third, two runners in scoring position for West Oles. Now really an opportunity to add on to this lead, which is one out in this third inning. Now the pitch. Just a bit outside for a ball. Keegan Ole again the ground out the second in her first at bat.
She'll step back in as a little gust of wind goes by once again. Here's the pitch. That's outside. Lays off it wisely for ball two. And a 2-0 count to Ool. Ool, another outstanding hitter for West Holmes at the plate. Sell. Now the pitch. That's high and away. Lays off it again. Ball three. 3-0 three -oh count now to Ool. Woods at second. Klein's at third. There's one out. Now the pitch. That's in there for a cold strike on the outside corner. And goes to three balls and a strike to Ool. one nothing West Holmes. Opportunity to add on to that in the third. Zell looking for the pitch she wants. Now she's ready to go. And the pitch. It's going to be foul tipped off the mid of catcher Dakota Britton. Could hold, hold on to it. It'll be strike two anyway. 3-2 count now to Keegan Ohl. So it was a 3-0 count. Now it is full at three and two. Pull back in there. Here's the payoff. Inside in the, the dirt as well on ball four. So O will take her base on the walk thrown by Sell. Her second walk thrown of the game. Bases are loaded now with one down. Addison Yoder, who walked in that last inning, will stand in. Of course, it was Josh Lucas who pitched in for and got the run. A timeout call. We'll take a timeout as well back after this on WKLM. Folding a fitted sheet, programming the thermostat, matching your socks. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with an auto owner's insurance independent agent, getting the right coverage for your home doesn't have to be one of them. So you can get back to more important things, like finding that missing sock. That's simple human sense. Visit Hummel Group in Berlin, Mansfield, Newark, Orville, and Worcester, or online at HummelGRP.com. Big situation for Minerva, obviously coming out here to have their discussion here. Is forced to get in the defensive assignments in this situation as West Holmes really a chance to kind of break this game wide open here. Uh, so really a critical junction of the game as Minerva trying to hang on to stay in this game down one nothing right now, and it's been a good one up until this point. But West Holmes, again, a chance really to add on to this lead, and discussion is over. And head coach Tim Speakman speaking to the rest of his infield. Addison Yoder at the plate. She has 17 RBIs to her credit on the year. And a big-time RBI opportunity right here. Bases are loaded, one out. Yoder stands in. We're now we're ready to go. Ool at first, Woods at second, and Kleins at third base. And now the pitch. In the dirt, knock, knocked down by catcher Dakota Breton. Makes it a 1-0 count to Addison Yoder. Chance to help out her cause directly on the mound right here with one swing of the bat. Gust of wind blowing once again here at West Holmes. Now Sell is running the pitch. High outside, ball two. Now it's 2-0 count. Of course, you don't want to help her out either if you're West Holmes. And Ool did walk in the previous at bat. And Sell again behind the count to Addison Yoder. And Sell with the pitch. That's a bit high. Makes it ball three. 3-0 three -oh count down to Addison Yoder. That was the case also. To, ooh, she battled back to make it a full count that eventually walked her. But no, another 3-0 -oh count to Addison Yoder. And sell the pitch. Going to be a cold strike on the inside corner. Keeps the at-bat going. Goes to 3-1. and one. Bases loaded, one out for West Holmes. And Sell with the 3-1 pitch. It's going to be a line to the left field. going to be a fair ball. Scoring from third base is Klein. Woods over to third base. She'll hold on the throw to home plate. And that'll be an RBI single to left. A little looper 
in the shallow left field. It fell in there just inside the line on the RBI single by Addison Yoder. West Stoll's now a 2-0 advantage. Everybody moves up one base, who are still bases loaded, and still one out. 2 nothing West Holmes. At the plate, going to be Peyton Carruthers. She popped out the short in her first at bat in the second inning. Yoder at first, Ull at second, and now Kinsey Woods is at third base, and Carruthers at the plate. 2 nothing West Holmes in the third. Sell the pitch. It's going to be a fly ball toward right, going to be caught. Nice basket catch in right field by Jordan Burgides in a throw to home plate will keep everybody at bay. So a key out if you're Minerva. Still bases loaded, two outs now. Emery Lemon at the plate where she came through with a big RBI double in her last at bat. West Holmes would take that right here. Bases are loaded, two outs. Two nothing West Holmes. Minerva trying to minimize the damage. West Olds would like to get a big hit, a little gap shot to score a couple of runs here. Sell the pitch. In there for a strike, it's a no one count. If you're Minerva, I think you'd take just one run given up in the setting after bases are being loaded with less than two outs to start things off there. Obviously, West Holmes. He would add on to the lead already, but they'd like to get some more. Wind picking up once again. Sell. Now is ready. And the 0-1. Long being a grounder toward short. Glove by Weaver. Over to the first base of the throw. Going to be in the dirt. Bobbled and not able to glove it in time. And everybody's going to be safe. They'll be an error on the throw. And West Oles will add on another run. They take a 3-0 lead. Well, that's what happens when you put the ball in play. Give yourself a chance, at least. And that'll be an error. Of course, every run from this point forward would be unearned should it score. But West Oles will take it. Everybody, again, moves up a base. Base is still loaded. Two outs. Landry Krosky at the plate. Grounded out to the second in her first at bat. Two runs have scored in the inning. 3 nothing. West almost the pitch. Outside for a ball. It's a 1-0 count now to Landry Krosky. Lemon at first. Yoder at second. And Ulls at third base. Klein and Kenzie Woods have scored in the inning. And the pitch. Swing and a miss that time for a strike. Goes to one ball, one strike to Krosky. 3-0 Lady Knights. We're in the home half of the third. Zell taking her time. Steers in. Now she's ready to go. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Off speed pitch. Had her out in front. For strike two. One ball, two strikes to Krosky. West Olsen, they've added two runs, but haven't got, really got that big blast yet. Krosky steps back in. Sell the pitch. That's in the dirt. And yeah, scooped up by catcher Dakota Breton. Goes to two balls and two strikes to Landry Krosky. Callie Woods on deck if she gets an opportunity. Bases loaded, two outs. Sell, now the pitch. That's a bit outside, ball three. Full count now to Krosky. Second full count of the inning. Third batter, she's gone to three balls with. Krosky stands back in. Sell. Now with the payoff pitch. It's going to be a line foul on the first base side out of play. And it stays at three and two. Good job by Krosky to stay alive at the plate. She'll step back in there. Sell. 
with the payoff once again. Swing and a miss. She struck her out, and that will do it here for the inning. First strikeout thrown of the game by Delaney Sell. West Holmes does add on two runs, though, and through three. West Holmes three, Minerva nothing. This is High School Softball on WKLM. Hi, I'm Eugene with the Yoder Family Roofing and Spouting. We are located in Millersburg, Ohio, and have been serving our community for the past 25 years. When was the last time you thought about having your roof inspected or spouting cleaned? You can find us online at yoderfamilyroofing.com or by giving us a call or text at 330-695-3000. Again, that's 330-695-3000 for all your roofing and spouting needs. At Home Siding Contractors, our mission is to give homeowners a quality product, whether it's our vinyl siding or our energy-efficient replacement windows and doors. Home Siding Contractors is ready to turn your home into one of your biggest energy-saving assets. You'll notice the difference as your home will stay warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. Call 888-725-6619 for a in-home estimate or find all of our products at homesiding.com. At Mack Oil Field Service, they offer specialized trucking, water hauling, dirt work, and general oil field service in New York, Pennsylvania, West Virginia, and Ohio. They have the equipment and manpower to tackle any task handed to them. The future lies in the hands of our youth, and Mack Oil Field Service is proud to support them. Call Mack Oil Field Service for all your oil field needs at 330-674-7371. That's 330-674-7371. And top of the 4 3 nothing West Holmes. First pitch outside for a ball. 1-0 count to Sierra Cross. Now the pitch. Tommy popped up towards second. Underneath is Keegan Ole. She'll make the grab. And there's now one away. So Sierra Cross pops out. Now 0 for 2 today with a ground out the short. And now a pop out the second. Now number 4 batter in the lineup for Minerva. Gabby Cashton's at the plate. Abby Ide is on deck. Cashton got on by an air at the mound in that first inning. Minerva, no runs, one hit. They left two runners on base. Addison Yoder, the seniors on the mound. Yoder, now the pitch. Bun it up in the air near the mound. Takes a bounce. Gloved and throw not in time. Kind of bun that up in the air. Usually you don't want to do that. But somehow that lifted over the, the mound of Addison Yoder. Took a bounce really in no man's land. And Woods charged after it. But by the time she got there, had no chance to get her. So that's going to be a bunt single. For Gabby Cashton with one out. Abby Ide is at the plate. She struck out swinging in the second inning. Shows butt. Pulls it back in there for a strike through the second base by Propro. is a good one. But uh, Cashton retreated back to first after I didn't put that butt down. So she'll stay at first base. 1 0 1 count rather into Abby Ide. Shows Bunt again. Show Bunt, but uh, it'll be fouls. It bounces behind home plate. 0 and 2 the count now to Ide. Yoder has struck out two. She's walked about her. 34 pitches thrown through three. Top of the fourth. And West Holmes a 3 0 lead. Yoder the pitch. It's probably a line to center field, a base hit. Over to second base is Cashin. She'll hold right there. Center fielder Peyton Crothers getting to that ball quickly. But a bunt single followed by a line drive single to center field for Minerva. And showing some life offensively in the fourth. Two runners aboard, one out. Here's Dakota Brenton, who grounded out the short in her first at bat. The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly supporting the local youth, and they hope that you all knock it out of the park. That's the Killbuck Savings Bank. Go to the pitch. Swing and a miss. That's going to be strike one. First and second, one out. Retton steps back into the batter's box and the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll be strike two. New balls, two strikes to Dakota Breton. And West Dolls would certainly take a strike out right here if they can get him. Count in Yoder's favor on the mound. She steers in. 
and the pitch. Swing and a miss at a high fastball. She chased after it. Strike three. That's the third strikeout thrown today by Yoder. Big one there, now two down. Here's Adriana Cashton. She singled in the second. Yoder down the pitch. It's going to be a line down the left field line. It's going to be a fair ball. Rolls to the fence around third base. Cashton will score. Over to third is eyed behind her. So Gabby Cashton scores off the RBI double by Adriana Cashton. And now Minerva is on the board for the first time. They're down 3-1. Next up left fielder Third fielder RBI of the season for Adriana Cashton. Runners at second and third, two outs. Natalie Essek at the plate. She struck out on a bunt attempt with two strikes in that second inning. The pitch. She'll snap it to the backstop. It's a no-one count to Essek. First double of the season for Adriana Cashton. Second and third, two outs. 3-1 lead now for West Holmes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll be strike two. 0 2 count now to Essek. West Holmes needs it out right here. One swing of the bat for Minerva, though. They could possibly tie this ball game up. Here's the 0 2. It's going to be foul to the backstop. Stays alive. This Essek on that swing stays at new balls and two strikes. West Holmes, a 3 0 lead entering this fourth. Then Minerva. Scoring a run, they're down three to one. Second and third, two outs for the Lions. Yoder, now the pitch. Swung on, popped up. Could be trouble, back cracking near short, making the grab, and shallow left is the shortstop, Kenzie Woods. Good grab, and that'll be the third out of the inning. Minerva does add a run, though, and now through three and a half. West Stolmes three, Minerva one. This is high school softball on WKLM. Attention commercial building owners. Are you tired of dealing with persistent leaks in your flat or low slope roof? Look no further. MEV Systems and Sugar Creek are your go-to experts for all your roofing needs. Whether it's tracking down or resolving that pesky leak, a complete roof replacement, or a new build, they've got you covered. Don't let roofing troubles rain on your parade. Call MBB Systems and experience top-notch service and peace of mind. Call MBB Systems Incorporated at 330-852-4333. And visit them online at mbbsystems.com. Savor the spring savings all this week at Rody's IGA. Hi, this is Scott Rody. We have Springer Mountain Farm, split chicken breast, $1.98 a pound. Twin pack whole pork shoulder butts, $1.78 a pound. USDA choice boneless bottom round roast, $4.98 a pound. We also have USDA choice boneless bottom round steak, $5.18 a pound. Bicolor sweet corn, two for 88 cents. Sweet cantaloupes, two for five dollars. Hot house grown beef steak tomatoes, $1.48 a pound. Plus download your digital coupon for crazy low price on select items Thursday through Sunday at Rody's IJ Marketplace in Millersburg. Did you know that one of the nation's top hospitals was founded right here in Holmes County? It's true. Pomerine Hospital was recently named the top 20 rural and community hospital by the National Rural Health Association. For 75 years, Pomerine has applied the latest medical expertise to meet the unique needs of our community. And today, they continue to lead the way in reliable patient outcomes, from outpatient services to life-saving surgeries. Learn more about the many ways Pomerine provides award-winning care Care right in your backyard. Visit pomerinehospital.org. Stalls first pitch. It was Callie Woods showing butt, unable to connect with it. It is strike one. Woods, as it's nine one and two for West Holmes. Woods followed by the top of the order. Zelina Proper then Briar Klein. Woods rounded out back to the pitcher in her first at bat in the second. Now the pitch shows butt again. It pulls it back. That's going to be outside for a ball. One ball, one strike to Callie Woods. 3-1 West Holmes. Three runs on five hits. They've left five runners on base. Sell struck out one. She's walked two. Just over the 60 pitch mark for the game. Now the pitch. And the dirt skips it to the backstop for ball two. And a 2-1 count now to Callie Woods. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. That player receives one small pizza and one small flurry from Charm Pizza on State Route 557 in Charm. And Sell now with the pitch. 
Sure's butt does Woods puts it down this time. Glove, throw to first base, gonna be not in time. Good job on the butt by Woods. As it was Cress who charged after it, made the clean throw, but not quick enough to beat out the speedy Callie Woods, and she'll get the butt single. So her first hit today, and West almost for the second time today will get the leadoff batter aboard. And they scored a run the last time they did it. That was in the second. Now to the top of the order, Zelina Proper, who really has swung the bat very well, but nothing to show for it up to this point. 0 for 2. A line out the short, and also a hard hit ground ball to the mound. It was played nicely by Sell. Her last at bat. That's a slap bunt in front of home plate. Barehanded, and no throw is made by the catcher to Dakota Brenton. Another nice bunt by West Oles. That's back to back. Perfectly laid down bunts by West Oles. That'll be another bunt single for Proper. Third baseman, number three, Ryan. So back-to-back bunt singles, and now ducks on the pond for West Holmes. First and second, nobody out. Briar Klein stands in. A double, a single, and also a run scored so far today for Briar Klein. This game, of course, on FM 95.3, WKLMFM.com. We're also video live streaming this contest on the WKLM YouTube page, courtesy of the Claxon Communication Team. Sell now the pitch. But attempt by Klein as well, but she busts it to the backstop. So West Holmes going for the butt so far in this fourth inning. And so far it's paid off. Two runners aboard, nobody out. 3-1 lead, but West Holmes would have liked to have gotten a little more of that last inning. So that two-run cushion, but they'd like to get some more here. Here's the pitch. Swamp being a grounder tore short. And glove by Weaver over the third for the force out. Good play by the shortstop, Rachel Weaver. Heads up to get that force out at third base and then force out the lead runner in Callie Woods. There's now one out in the inning. 6-5, fielder's choice. Hit into by Briar Klein. One out. Proper's at second base. Klein's at first. Kenzie Woods is at the plate. She's one for one with a double and also a run scored. So still two runners aboard, one out. So now the pitch. In the dirt, knocked out, runners going, and no throw made. Good heads up, base running by Proper and Klein to advance the second and third. one to count to Woods. So now two runners in the scoring position for West Holmes. Three one West Holmes in the fourth. Now the pitch. That's a cold strike on the outside corner. One one count to Woods. Looking to add on to that two run lead in the home half of the fourth inning. Wood stands back into the batter's box. Sell, still steering. Now she's ready to go. And the pitch. Swap behind bouncer in the left field, a base hit. Scoring from third is Proper. Briar Klein will hold up at third base. Ball overthrown to home play, but she'll stay at third base. That does allow the Woods to advance to second base on the throw to home. RBI single for Kenzie Woods, then advances the second on that throw. Proper, as I mentioned, scores. Now runners at second and third, still with one out. Woods, her second hit today, her 20th RBI of the season. 4-1 West Holmes as they've added on a run and still a chance to cash in on some more. Keegan Ole at the plate. She's over with a round out the second and also a walk. Second and third, one out, 4-1 Lady Knights. And sell now the pitch. It's going to be a line down the right field line. It's going to be a fair ball rolls through the fence. Scoring from third base is Klein. Woods around third. She will score to third base. It's going to be Ole. She'll slide in safely. Keegan Ole coming through with the one out. Two RBI triple. And West Holmes adds on two more. They have a 6-1 to one advantage. And a good job taking that ball to the opposite field. And she hammered it. To right field toward the fence. 
And that's the big blast West Holmes has been looking for. Knocking in a pair. They scored three times so far in the fourth. 6-1 West Holmes. Here's Addison Yoder. She's 1-1 one one with a walk. Also scored and has an RBI to her credit. That pitch outside for a ball. 1-0 count to Addison Yoder. Keegan Oles at third. There's still just one out. And West Holmes a 6-1 lead. And sell now with the pitch. That's going to be just a bit outside for a ball. 2-0 count. Well, Storms, winners of three of their last four games entering this contest today. Now the pitch. It's going to be a high fly ball, deep left field. Near the fence, it's going to be gone. A two-run homer, Addison Yoder, her first home run of the season. And West Oles, the beginning in the fourth, they have now taken an 8-1 to one lead. That's one you kind of knew it right off the bat as Essek and left just kind of stared at it, and she knew what was going to happen as they clear that left field fence. A two-run blast by Addison Yoder. Again, her first homer of the season. Five runs here in the fourth for West Holmes, an 8-1 advantage. Peyton Carruthers at the plate. 0 for 2 with a pop out the short and a fly out to right field. That's what this West Holmes offense can do, of course. In any moment, they can erupt and been a kind of a close game up to this point. And then, boom, there's the pitch. Want to be a grounder towards second. Love by Cashin over the first. In time for the out, that's out number two. Emery Lemon now at the plate. Lemon one for two with a double and an RBI. Emery Lemon, next up. Eight one West Holmes advantage in the fourth. And the pitch. That will be high. And makes it ball one. Bases are clear. After the two-run home run by Addison Yoder. And two down in the inning. And sell. Now with the pitch. That's in the dirt for a ball. Makes it a 2-0 count. Lemon, the eighth batter to come to the plate in this inning for West Holmes. It's time to be thinking about those concrete projects. Holmes Ready Mix of Millersburg offers Ready Mix concrete, precast blocks, and a variety of mason and concrete products. Call for prices of and delivery options of Ready Mix concrete, 674-0865, or Sienna Gravel, 674-8121. Now the 2-0. That's high away, ball three, 3-0 three, oh, count now to Lemon. Lemon steps back on as Sell collect herself. Now she's ready to go. Here is the pitch. That's a cold strike on the outside corner. 3-1 count now to Lemon. Krosky on deck if necessary. As Lemon looking, trying to keep this inning alive. And the pitch. That's inside ball four. She will do that as she draws the walk. Third walk through the game by Delaney Sell. Landry Krosky now at the plate. Jocelyn Lucas actually going to hit and send. Lucas, she's already scored once on a pinch run opportunity. Now the senior will get her first at bat of the game. So she's ranked going over the changes with the home plate umpire. 
Lucas. Again, the senior will step in here. Jocelyn Lucas. Batting 231. Six hits for her on the spring. Has one double and two runs batted in. Nobody scored in the first. West Olds would score run in the second inning. After a leadoff walk to Addison Yoder, Lucas came in to pinch run for. Then the RBI single by Lemon knocked in Lucas. He West Olds a one nothing lead. Then he would score two more runs in the third on three hits. The take... A 3-0 lead, and then a huge inning here in the fourth after Minerva scored a run in the top of the fourth. West Holmes coming through in a big way. And they scored five runs so far in this bottom half of the fourth. They have an 8-1 lead. Now we're ready to go as Lucas will step into the batter's box. Again, she bats from the left side. Miller, the freshman, she's over at first base, pinch running. That pitch will be a grounder on the first base side. It bounces foul. 0 hey, 1 count to Lucas. Hey, New balls and a strike. Josh and Lucas at the plate. And the pitch. That'll be in there for a strike on the outside corner. Goes to 0 and 2. And the pitch. Twombe popped up towards shallow center field, going over to make the grab. That's uh, Adriana Cashton. That'll be out number three. But now before West Dolan scores five times in the fourth through four innings. West Dolan's eight and Minerva one. This is high school softball on WKLM. Biker Concrete, located on County Road 189 between Benton and Holmesville, specializes in ready-mix concrete and state-approved limestone, sand, and gravel. All mixed styles are available, and you can count on fast, dependable delivery and competitive prices. Fikert Concrete has served homes and surrounding counties for over 75 years. Call Fikert Concrete today for all your concrete needs at 674-0038. Remember, for quality concrete, it's Fikert Concrete. Loading the kids in the car. Brokering peace in the back seat. Mastering the snack handoff without even looking. Why are simple things sometimes so complicated? Thankfully, with auto owners, insurance doesn't have to be one of them. We work with independent agents who keep insurance simple so you can worry about more important things like figuring out what's growing in that cup holder. That's simple human sense. Contact your local auto owner's insurance agent. Hobron's Insurance Service, 170 South Clay Street in Millersburg. Call 1-800-340-3767. Many things can cause damage to your vehicle. A deer, another car, or that parking lot pull that came out of nowhere. Regardless, your ride needs to be repaired. And Finish Line Auto Body is the place to go. Finish Line will help pay your insurance deductible. That's right. Finish Line will pay up to $500. You could get your vehicle repaired while paying zero out of pocket. Call or visit the Finish Line Auto Body Customer Care Center for details. Located on State Route 83 in Millersburg. At the plate, the 9 1 and 2 batters for Minerva. Lively, followed by the top of the order. Her pitch, uh, first pitch is high for a ball. Now the 1 0. We have swing and a miss for strike one. 1 1 count to Bree Lively, who ran it out to third in her first at bat. Minerva, one run on th- four hits for the game. They've left four runners on base. Addison Yoder has struck out three. She's walked a batter. And 50 pitches thrown for the game for Addison Yoder, the pitch. That's a cold strike on the outside corner. Goes to one ball and two strikes. If you need your vehicle serviced, then Village Motors is the place to go. They have the -the state-of-the-art equipment and factory trained technicians. As you can check out their service specials at villagemotorsinc.com. The pitch will be a line down the third base side, but foul. Over the West Tolls dugout down the third base side. Goes, or that remains rather, one ball and two strikes. Call Village Motors at 800 292 88-42. 88-42. That's Village Motors in Millersburg. 
Top of the fifth, 8-1 West Holmes. And the pitch. Going to be just a bit outside, ball two. Two balls, two strikes, the lively. West Holmes came in with a record of 9-3, and three, and Minerva at 6-6 six and six on the spring. And you under now the pitch. It's going to be fouled off the end of the bat of Lively. Trickles down the first base side, but a foul ball count will remain at two balls and two strikes. Minerva's gotten the leadoff batter on board just one time today. That was back in the first inning. Yoder now with the pitch. That's a bit high. Ball three, full count now to Lively. Now the payoff pitch. Going to be a cold strike three on the outside corner. Nicely placed by Yoder. And the fourth strikeout thrown by Addison Yoder today. Down to the top of the order. Rachel Weaver at the plate. And she's over one with a walk and also a strikeout looking. Should see strikeout swinging back in the third. And the pitch inside, and she's jumps out of the way of it for ball one. 1 0 count. McRoy alongside with you, and Blazed and Mullins back at WKLM Sports Central. We're on FM 95.3 and WKLMFM.com. And the 1 0. A bit outside for a ball. Makes it a 2-0 count. We're also video live streaming today's contest on the WKLM YouTube page. Courtesy of the Claxon communication team. Casey Claxon producing today's live stream coverage. Here's the 2-0 pitch. High for a ball. Makes it a 3-0 count. Aiden Garbrandt and Andrew Dunlap working the cameras for today. Again, go to YouTube. Search WKLM Radio to find that. And here's the 3-0. That's in there. Right down the middle for a cold strike. 3-1 count to Rachel Weaver. One out, nobody aboard. Top of the fifth. 8-1 West Holmes. Minerva is at the plate. And the pitch. That's going to be a bit outside ball four. That'll walk her. Weaver will take her base. Second time she's walked today. And that's just the second walk through by Yoder. And now Delaney Sell is at the plate. 0 for 1 with a round out to the mound and also a sacrifice bunt to her credit. Runner on, 1 out. A little gust of wind blowing by once again as now Sell will step into the batter's box. And the pitch. Who's bunt? She'll pull it back down low for a ball. 1 0 count. Minerva showed some life offensively that last inning where they were able to knock it around on the RBI double by Adriana Cashton. But down by seven right now. Since they need to do something in this inning, they want to try and get themselves somewhat back into it, the pitch. That's a slap down the, the third base line on the butt. Love through the first base in time for the out. Good play on the hard-charging third baseman, Ryer Klein, to get that out. And advancing to second base, though, on the sacrifice is Rachel Weaver, but there's two outs in the inning. Sierra Crest at the plate. She's over to a ground out the short and also a pop out the second. And the pitch. It's going to be fouled to the backstop. New balls and a strike to Crest. West Hole's one out away from getting through unscathed here and a chance to maybe close it out if you can get a few runs in the bottom half of the setting. That pitch is going to be a cold strike on the inside corner. 0-2 count to Kress. Yoder, now the pitch. High away. That's going to be ball one. Good chase pitch there, but Cross able to lay off it. Goes to one and two. Rachel Weaver's at second base. There's two outs. Here's the pitch. But the scene spot, 
Lee's off it again. In ball two on the high pitch. Two balls, two strikes to Kress. Now, Yoder need to attack the strike zone here in this opportunity. See if she does that, the pitch. Probably a line in the left field line. It goes foul. Hard hit ball on that third base side, but foul ball and counts remains at two balls and two strikes. Eight one West Holmes with the fifth. Now the pitch. Gonna be just outside. Didn't miss by much, but it's ball three. Good off speed pitch by Addison Yoder, but somehow Cress able to lay off of that pitch. That's a tough one to lay off when you have two strikes on you. But she did it. And here's the payoff pitch. So on the uh, fly ball towards center, going to be in there for a base hit to third base as Weaver. Rounding third, she will score. On the throw to home plate, runner advancing the slide, the slide in safely by Sierra Crest. So she'll get the RBI single, advances the second base on the throw, makes it an 8 2 game. And at the plate, Gabby Cashton. One for two. She's reached base twice. Has a bunt single and also a run score today. And the pitch. Slaps it near the mound. Backhanded by Yoder. Throws the first. Going to be in time by a half a step for out number three. That will do it for the inning, but Mirnova does score a run in the top of the fifth and through four and a half. West Holmes has an 8-2 lead. This is high school softball on WKOM. When you're thinking of old-fashioned smokehouse flavor, think Sugar Valley Meats. They cure their own ham and bacon, and the old-fashioned smokehouse uses hickory, apple, and sassafras. Processing, curing, and custom butchering are available, cut to your specifications. That's Sugar Valley Meats on Dutch Valley Drive in Sugar Creek. Turn left at the light, and Sugar Valley Meats is one quarter mile on the right. Call today, 330-852-4423. Are you ready to accelerate towards your dreams with a new car, ATV, boat, or some extra cash for personal needs? This is Zach Deidinger, a banking center manager at the Commercial and Savings Bank, here to help you fund your next adventure. Our team of experts is committed to finding the right solution for you with competitive rates, flexible terms, and personalized service. Visit csb1.com to apply online or give us a call at 800-654-9015 to speak with a loan specialist and discover the CSB advice. Advantage. The Commercial and Savings Bank. Relationships you can bank on. Member FDIC. Firestone Farm Tires are the most preferred tires in America. Not only are they proven to be among the most productive farm tires you can buy, they're backed and serviced by the best trained and equipped farm tire dealer, the certified Firestone Farm Tire Dealer. So whether you need top quality Firestone Farm Tires or fast, dependable tire service, Count on us to keep you rolling. Get your Firestone tires at Millersburg Tire Service. State Route 39, Millersburg. Hi, this is Corey with Burgett Insurance. If you can't remember the last time you've reviewed your insurance policies, you're not alone. Burgett Insurance and Buckeye Insurance Group work together to make sure you are properly covered. Call the friendly, knowledgeable staff of Burgett Insurance at 330-276-3791. We provide service that exceeds expectations and coverage that meets your needs. Buckeye Insurance Group and Burgett Insurance, working together to protect you. And home half of the fifth. It's an 8-2 lead for West Oles. New pitcher on the mound for Minerva. It'll be Sierra Crest, the junior right-hander, now with the pitch. And it'll be in there for a strike. Goes to 0-1 to Callie Woods to lead things off. 9-1 and 2 batters for West Holmes. Woods followed by the top of the order. Zelina Proper and Briar Klein. Woods, a bunt single in her last at bat. She's 1-2 for two today. Again, Sierra Crest on the mound now, replacing Delaney Sell. Sell now the second baseman. And here is the 0-1. It's going to be a fly ball towards shallow right center going over and making the running grab. That center fielder, Adriana Cash, a nice play by her to make that running catch. There's one away. Now to the top of the order, Zelina Proper, who is one for three at the bunt single and also a run score. Mentioned Sells over at second. 
Bree Ladley is now the third baseman defensively for Minerva. One out, nobody aboard. We're in the bottom of the fifth. 8-2 West Holmes. And the pitch in the dirt. It's going to be ball one to Zelina Proper. Melway Paving Company, a well-known asphalt paving contractor for homes in surrounding County since 1964. Here's the pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner, a 1-1 count. Specializing in asphalt paving, chip and seal, and seal coating. For your next paving project, call Melway Paving, 330-279-9000. And the pitch. Runner towards second. On the swing, be gloved. Throw to first base, going to be not in time. Near that second base bag. As cashed a nice backhand, grab had to throw across her body. Didn't have a chance to get the speedy Zelina Proper, so she'll get the infield single. For the night, third base, number three, Brian, so her second Klein. hit today for Proper at the plate going to be Briar Klein. Klein is two for three at the plate, but she's reached base three times today. Has a double and also two runs scored. A single, a double, and also that got on by a fielder's choice in the fourth. Now the pitch. Down low for a ball. 1-0 count to Briar Klein. Proper at first, one out. Upper half of the lineup at the plate for West Holmes. They have an 8-2 advantage. Minerva will run in the fir- uh, fourth and fifth. West Holmes will run in the second, two in the third, five in the fourth. Here's the pitch. Shows butt pulls it back. It's going to be a strike, though. Runner going. And after it was bobbled in the dirt, for Brett not able to make a throw on it. So easy stole a base for Proper. 1-1 one, one count to Briar Klein. Runner in the scoring position for the Lady Knights. Crest down with the pitch. Shrews Bunt bunts it in the third baseline. Charged after. Gloved. Throw in the first base by Lively. Not in time. And that'll be a Bunt single for Briar Klein. West Holmes with a great job button today, and another bunt single for them. Proper advances to third base. First and third, one out. Kenzie Woods is at the plate. Woods is two for two, a double, a single, an RBI, and also she scored twice. Cress, a two and one record on the mound, through 23 and a third innings pitch this season. Now in 18 runs, 12 earned, 26 hits while striking out 21, walking five, and a 3.60 ERA. And Sierra Crest taking over for Sal here in the fifth. A little gust of wind there as Woods cold time. Now she'll get back in there. The pitch. From a line to center field going to be right at, no, dropped by center fielder Adriana Cashton. And that'll score a run. So it looked like it was going to be out number two. Instead, it'll be an error in center. Everybody will move up a base and a run will score. Proper scores from third base. 9-2 advantage for West Holmes. Klein goes to third. And Woods over to second base after the year. And at the plate going to be Keegan Ohl. Ohl's one for two with a triple. Of course, that two RBI triple that last inning. She's also got a walk and a score to run. Another meeting at the mound for Minerva. We'll take a timeout back after this on WKLM. It's time for the NM Rock Annual Spring Open House. Friday, May 3rd from 7 to 6 and Saturday, May 4th from 7.30 to 2. They have mulch, gravel, and limestone. Boulders, sand stones, and wall stones. Patio pavers, fire pits, and natural stone. Topsoil, shale-based materials, and culvert and PVC pipe. They also have new black decorative stones. When you spend $50 or more, you'll be entered to win a $200 DNM Rocks gift card. We hope to see you at DNM Rocks Spring Open House. May 3rd and 4th. Stop in to see us, or if you can't, give us a call to set up a delivery at 330-473-6020. Thinking about adding a deck or a new door? MRV Sliding Supply has 35 to 40 storm doors on display in their state-of-the-art showroom with sliding patio doors in a new trending colors. Choose from a selection of indoor patio doors, Aries patio doors, Aspect patio doors, and designer hinge patio doors. That's MRV Sliding Supply on County Road 624 in Middlesburg, along with Newark in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or on the web at MRVSiding.com. 
Get your siding supplies from the Siding Guys. MRV Siding Supply. And play back in a way. Look like cashed in the... Shake it up a little bit on that last play in center, but she'll be all right and will continue to play. Keegan Ull will be at the plate. Second and third for West Holmes with one out. Here's the pitch. So I'll be a foul straight back. It'll be over the press box and out of play. 0-1 count to Keegan Ull. Kenzie Woods at second. Briar Klein's at third. A run has scored in the fifth. And West Holmes a 9-2 advantage. Chris, now with a pitch. Down low for ball, 1-1 one, one count. At the conclusion of this contest, we'll be announcing the Charm Pizza player of the game. The player receives one small pizza and one small flurry from Charm Pizza on State Route 557 in Charm. And the pitch. It's going to be popped up. First base side foul territory and making the grab. Was well, the first baseman, Abby Ice, Abby Ide, held on to it as that one wind kind of controlling the ball just a little bit and uh, near that bag, she was able to hold on to it and make that catch. Now two outs of the inning. Addison Yoder stands in. Yoder, of course, one for two. We got two for two today, including the two-run home run. Home run right here would finish off the game if she got it. And crest the pitch. Down low, that's going to be a ball. Chris stares in. Now she's running. Here's the 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss and a high fastball. She stacked her for strike one. 1-1 one, one count to Addison Yoder. Kenzie Wood at second, and Briar Klein is at third base, and there's two down. And Crest the pitch. It's going to be a grounder up the middle, be deflected back near second, glove by Sell, not able to make a play on it, and two runs will score on that same play. Throw to home plate and advancing the second on the play is going to be Addison Yoder. So gets the two RBI single. And now makes it an 11-2 ball game. Once it hit off the end of the mitt of Cress, that made it kind of a tough play there to make. And Selden will make a throw on it. And good heads-up base running again by Klein and Woods to make get across home plate on the that play, moving on that to ground ball. Eleven to two, West Holmes. And at the plate going to be Peyton Carruthers, who's 0 for three so far. The pitch, a cold strike on the inside corner. A pop out to short, a fly out to right, and also ran out the second. Here's the pitch. Columbia be a grounder down the third base side. It bounces foul. It goes to 0 and 2. 11 2 Lady Knights. One more run, and that wins it. If they can get it here in this fifth inning. The Killbuck Savings Bank proudly supporting the local youth, and they hope that you all knock it out of the park. That's the Killbuck Savings Bank. And the pitch. It's going to be fouled straight back off the handle of Peyton Carruthers. And the count will stay at new balls and two strikes. West Holmes has added on three more runs in the fifth. And the pitch. It's going to be a high chopper tour short. Glove by Weaver. Bobbles it, picks it back up, and unable to make a throw in it. Throw to second base, almost to picked off 
The runner at second base should go get back there safely, it looks like. Uh, but it'll be an error at short to continue this inning. So that'll keep things alive. And Westall still a chance to close this game out at the in this fifth inning. Emery Lemon is one for two. Has reached base three times. An RBI double. Gone on by an error and also a walk. First and second and two outs. 11-2 Lady Knights. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Hard cut that time. Came up empty for strike one. You know, women, the eighth batter to come to the plate in this fifth inning for West Holmes. And Crest with the pitch. Going to be in there a little bit low, I should say, for ball one. One one count to Lemon. Carruthers at first. And D'Alessandro, the pinch runner, is over at second base for West Holmes. Here's the pitch. That's outside for a ball. Makes it 2-1 and one the count. Sophia D'Alessandro, the freshman. And pinch running over at second. The pitch. It's going to be fouled straight back. Just behind it on that swing. Evens it up two balls, two strikes to Emory Lemon. Lemon steps back into the batter's box here. 11 2 Lady Knights. And Crest with the pitch. That's outside. Ball three. Full count. West Holmes will run in the second, two in the third, five in the fourth, three so far in this fifth inning. And the payoff. It's going to be a master toward third. And through the legs of the third baseman, around third base coming in scoring is going to be Sophia D'Alessandro, and that should do it. As West Oles will take a 12-2 lead, and that should be the run roll. And West Oles indeed will come through on the air at third. And the run scoring in D'Alessandro, and West Oles will get the run roll victory today. Finals 12-2, West Oles to get the win. And West Oles will go to... 10 and 3 on the year. They've won two straight in four of their last five. Minerva dropping to 6 and 7. They've lost three games in a row. Again, the final today. West Wolves winner 12 to 2 in five innings. Back to wrap it up with the post game show next on WKLM. Centaur is hiring for positions in plastic prescription products manufacturing. Centaur is committed to producing the highest quality and safest packaging that helps protect medications from contamination and ensure the effectiveness. The Centaur facility is equipped with the latest technology and staffed with dedicated and committed teams. You'll enjoy competitive pay starting above $19 per hour and comprehensive benefits. You'll be working in a clean, temperature-controlled, well-lit, and family-type environment. Centaur takes pride in having no layoffs in 45 years. Apply now at Centaur in Berlin or on Indeed to become a part of Centaur's mission to improve health care for all. Get your vehicle back on the road smooth and problem-free with Village Motors Collision Center. Hi, this is Deke Miller, and our Collision Center works on all makes and models and has available deductible assistance, along with loaner and rental vehicles available for your use, complimentary oil change packages, not to mention that we are the preferred repair shop for most insurance companies. Ask us about our cleanup packages with four great packages from basic to premium by appointment only starting at $19.95. For collision repair, make your first stop at Village Motors in Millersburg. Clark Fowler Electric Motors and Supplies has been striving to provide the area's best in electric motor services and power transmission needs since 1995. Hi, this is Noah Clark, and with over 120 years of combined experience in electric motor repairs and service, the staff at Clark Fowler can provide unmatched 24-hour emergency services and rapid turnaround. Clark Fowler Electric is the area's leader in electric motor repair, products, parts, and on-site services. If you need custom solutions for your electric motors, factory, or business, contact Clark Fowler Electric at 330-262-0906 or visit our website at clarkfowlerelectric.com. 
Are you ready to tackle home improvement with the winning team? Look no further than Wayne Door, your MVP for all things doors and windows. Score big with their championship lineup. Garage doors, openers, entry and storm doors, windows, patio doors, and more. Just like a winning play, Wayne Door offers an unbeatable sales team, flawless installation, and game-changing service. Their local experts ensure you're always in the lead. Don't settle for anything less. Visit them today at WayneDoor.com or stop by their showroom and elevate with your home improvement improvement game with the experts. Wayne Door, people you can trust since 1973. Buckeye Career Center Adult Education can help you discover your passion and prepare for your future. In addition to our nine full-time adult programs and endless part-time and career enhancement courses, we also offer the Adult Diploma Program for free. ADP is open to Ohio residents 20 or older who would like to obtain a high school diploma, career technical certificate, and industry-recognized credential. Eligible programs include Auto Tech, Nail Tech, Phlebotomy, STNA, firefighter, and welding. Call 330-339-2288 to register. Berlin Heating and Cooling wants to wish all the local teams good luck through their season. Berlin Heating and Cooling installs REAM equipment and services all other types of equipment. For any team to be successful, you have to have the right player, and they are wanting to add to their team. Call Berlin Heating and Cooling, your local REAM Pro partner today at 330-893-3057. Game show brought to you by Denco Marketing as West Holmes gets the win today by the final margin of 12 to 2 by Runwell in five innings. As nobody scored in the first, West Holmes would score a run in the bottom half of the second. It would be an RBI double by Emery Lund, and she would knock in the pinch runner Jocelyn Lucas, who was pinch running for Addison Yoder, who had walked earlier in that inning. And West Holmes led 1 0 after two. West Holmes would add on two more runs in the third inning. And if they get in that inning, it would be both Briar Klein and Kenzie Woods got on by a single and a double in that inning. And it was Addison Yoder had an RBI single in that inning as well, followed by an error. And West Holmes would take a three to nothing lead through three. Minerva would score a run in the top of the fourth. But West Holmes came back with a huge five spot in the bottom half of the fourth inning. As West Holmes got a two RBI triple by Keegan Ohl, a two run home run also by Addison Yoder in that fourth. West Holmes led by a score of eight to one through four. A run scored by Minerva in the top of the fifth. West Holmes came right back. They see would score four more times in the bottom half of the fifth. They would score four runs on three hits and also three errors in that the fifth inning, including the two RBI single by Addison Yoder. And West Holmes wins it by a run roll in five innings, 12 to two over Minerva today. Back with the final numbers after this from Denco Marketing. Denco Marketing of Millersburg has customers in all 50 states, Canada, and South America. Each day, over 300 shipments of garage door parts are shipped to customers everywhere by Denco Marketing. And while Denco Marketing appreciates this wide and varied market in the country and in the world, the thing they appreciate most is where they are located. Home. That's why they support various community activities and devote as much attention to here as to there. At Denco Marketing, the most important business at hand is the business of home. West Olds wins it in run rule fashion, 12 to 2 and 5 innings over Minerva. West Olds had 12 runs on 12 hits, one error, and 8 left on base. As for West Olds, offensively, it was Addison Yoder who came through in a big way, going 3 for 3, including the two run home run. And she had to combine three RBIs, and she would score three times. Should she combine five RBIs, excuse me, and had three runs scored as well for the game. And also, she would draw a walk. Kenzie Woods would end up going two for three at the plate. She had a double, an RBI, and also scored three runs as well for the West Holmes offense. Zelina Proper, two for four at the plate. A couple of singles, and also scored two times. Briar Klein was three for four at the plate. She had... Uh, for her, a double for the game, and it scored three runs for the West Hills offense as well. On the other end for Minerva, they had two runs on four hits, four airs, and five left on base. And for West Hills on the mound, getting the win, senior Addison Yoder went five innings, allowed two runs, both earned four hits, struck out four. She walked two on the mound as well. Klein, I mean, Addison Yoder improving her record to eight and two on the season. And with the loss in the other end was Del Delaney Sell. 
Sell, the freshman, took the loss, went four innings, allowed eight runs, seven earned, ten hits, struck out one, and she walked three. Sierra Crest, the junior, pitched the final two-thirds of an inning of relief. She allowed four runs, none earned, two hits, struck out, and walked nobody in that relief appearance. Last goal is the winner, 12-2 by run roll in five innings over Minerva. Back to wrap it up in the player of the game right after this from Denko Marketing. Everywhere, every day, someone somewhere needs someone to care. Young people are especially desirous of someone to show an interest in what they do, where they are going, and what they will become. Denco Marketing of Millersburg believes taking that interest in a young person can make all the difference. Which young person needs your time and interest? Whichever one or ones you can give it to. They'll take care of the rest. Supporting young people in all endeavors is especially important to Denco Marketing of Millersburg, where the business at hand is the business of home. West Olds wins it in run rule fashion in five. They win it 12-2 over Minerva today. And our charm pizza player of the game goes to Addison Yoder. She came through with the plate as well as on the mound. Yoder with the free hit performance, including the two-run homer, her first of the year, five RBIs combined today. And, of course, got the victory in the mound as well, going all five for West Holmes there. So Addison Yoder will be our charm pizza player of the contest. West Holmes with the win. They improved to 10-3 and three on the year. They've now won two in a row and four of their last five. Their next team will be at Carrollton on Monday. And on the other end for Minerva, they will drop to 6-7. and seven. They've lost three straight on Monday. They will play at East Liverpool uh, for them. For us on Monday, we'll have high school baseball. Highlands at Garraway. That'll be video live streamed on YouTube. And also on the radio, we'll have high school softball. Highland at Garraway for there. And also Tuesday, high school baseball from Canal Park in Akron. Home of the Rubber Ducks. Highland takes on Lake Center Christian in that game. Airtime about 325 for that on Tuesday afternoon. Wednesday, two games coming away with... Uh, high School Baseball, Garroway's at Highland. There'll be video live stream once again, and also on the radio, High School Baseball with Ashland at West Holmes. Next Friday, we'll have High School Softball with West Holmes at Worcester, and also High School Baseball next Friday night with Tri-Valley at Highland as well on Friday night. Do you want to thank our video live stream partners today, Claxon Communications, allowing us to bring you this video live stream coverage, that being Casey Claxon along with Aiden Garbrandt in also, Andrew Dunlap. Also, thanks to Blazed Mullins back at WKLM Sports Central. I am Matt Croy on the postgame show brought to you by Denko Marketing. The final today, West Olds Wednesday in five innings, 12-2 over Minerva. So long, everybody. At Pomerine Hospital, they understand that access to quality health care is essential for rural and small town residents. Each day, their specialists provide nationally recognized care at facilities across Holmes, Ashland, and Tuscarawas counties. Whether you're growing a family or making the most of your golden years, you can trust them for reliable patient outcomes at every stage of life. From outpatient services to advanced treatments, learn how they're setting a new standard for community-based health care. And remember that no matter where life takes you, Pomerine is just around the corner. Find the location at Pomerine Hospital hospital.org Thank you for watching High School Softball from your hometown radio station FM 95.3 WKLM Tonight's broadcast has been a production of WKLM Radio and Claxon Communications